aren't just telling kids that seatbelts save lives, they're showing them how, and that's how they're doing it. Here's Sheba Russell. A heart-wrenching simulation of what can happen if you're not wearing a seatbelt. Look through the eyes of Candace Ellis. This is how her best friend died in November. As soon as I saw it, I just wanted to. I wanted to make a difference because of her. This Bristol Plymouth technical student helping refurbish and paint the rollover demonstrator. It's one of two cars state police use to get the word out about safe driving. During prom and graduation season, they visit about 200 schools. Working on cars helps a lot because you see how bad the accidents happen and having your best friend die in a car accident helps a lot too. It makes me understand I need to wear a seatbelt. I wear it every time now. Her seatbelt reminder sitting on her dash. Ellis says that 16-year-old Samantha Mello was not buckled up when the car she was riding in rolled over and crashed into a utility pole in Taunton. Even on a simple one uh, flip over at a, perhaps if a car ran a stop sign, you can be ejected out of the vehicle. Your safest position is to stay within the vehicle, seat belted in. 10 out of the 13 kids that died in crashes in 2007 were not buckled up. So that's the real message here now. It's slow down, buckle up, save lives. It's not worth losing your life and losing your best friends over just not wearing a seatbelt. It's not that hard to put it on. And some five months later, candles, stuffed animals surround the memorial to Samantha Mello here on Norton Avenue. Motor vehicle crashes are still the number one killer of teenagers. In Taunton, Sheba Russell, New Center 5.